right, on this episode of Building the X Set, I'm going to be installing the NRG hub adapter and NRG quick release and the steering wheel. I would show you a picture of the steering wheel, however, I have not purchased it yet. I cannot decide uh, if I basically price points, I'm looking $80 to $100 for a decent quality cheaper one, up to two, dollars $300 for a higher quality one. Not sure what I'm going to go with. I'm leaning toward the cheaper one, but hopefully in the next couple days I'll get that decision made. So uh, basically there's <clears throat> three main components to this. I've never done a quick release before, so this was kind of uh, pretty much, uh, you know, I, I had no clue what I was doing going into this, uh, what the parts were, how you did it, anything like that. So with help of some people, um, I was able to figure out the parts needed for doing a quick release on the Miata steering wheel. Basically your first thing is you can use whatever brand you want, but these tend to be the least expensive and NRG uh, hub adapter. This will basically adapt it from your splined um, uh, steering shaft to adapt to the quick release. Uh, the quick release is here in this box. I don't have it unboxed yet, otherwise I'd show it to you, um, but it is also an NRG branded quick release. Uh, cost of these parts, um, new. I was seeing right around about 180 is the cheapest with shipping that I could possibly get them, up to about $200. Um, I got lucky, got this on eBay used. It's in almost brand new condition, very nice shape, uh, for I think about 40 bucks shipped. And then I got this uh, new, I think it was also on eBay. I made an offer and got a pretty sweet deal. I think I got it for about $75 shipped for the uh, 2.0 quick release. So. Did all right on those, um, and then I'm probably, if I go on the lower end, about another $100 for a steering wheel. So, you know, add that all up, you're looking about 250 bucks probably by the time you're done, at least on your steering setup for your access set. So basically what happens with this, um, after I've looked into it, I am not going to be running the uh, clock spring or either my turn signal or wiper stocks. I'm not gonna run the wiper stocks. Obviously there's not gonna be any windshield wipers or sprayers on the car as it probably isn't gonna have a windshield. On the left side for the turn signal, um, my uh, little cancellation uh, piece that cancels out your turn signal when you turn was broken. Um, when I looked around to buy that part, I could buy one, but for the price and also, I didn't really like the way the stock came out of the steering wheel. I needed to get a new stock as well. So um, I was looking at a decent chunk of money. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do more of like a motorcycle type uh, turn signal switch, basically where you have a left, a right, and then you push it to cancel it. Um, the only issue with that is while it does clean up the steering column as there's no stalk sticking out, uh, you do have to remember to push cancel, otherwise you're gonna be going down the road with your turn signal on. So um, basically without all that um, stuff in the car, it's pretty much just uh, slapping uh, this hub adapter on and uh, mounting it with a nut and then uh, bolting up the quick release for that and then bolting the steering wheel to the quick release. So once you get the parts figured out and how it works, it's pretty simple uh, once you get everything pulled off the Miata to figure out you know, how exactly it goes together. But um, I'm going to take a minute just go over this with you guys so you guys can see how all these pieces fit together when you're doing a uh, steering wheel quick release. To note when you are uh, putting on your quick release is the box for the quick release. If you can see there, uh, California lets you know that this quick release can expose you to certain chemicals that can cause cancer or reproductive toxicity. So um, in case you were thinking you could get by putting a quick release on without having a uh, cancer causing material come into contact with you, unfortunately you're incorrect. Um, I guess everything now can literally give you cancer. Okay, so this here is your quick release. Uh, basically how it works is there's a button here to push. So what you would see is this part here is mounted to your actual steering wheel. And this part here is mounted to the hub adapter, like so. And basically to remove your steering wheel, what you do is you push this pin here down and then slide this uh, lever back there and out pops this goes with the steering wheel. Then when you get back in the car, basically uh, put the steering wheel adapter back in and it clicks back and locks into place. Uh, there's very, I mean, zero play in this. You cannot move it. Uh, the ball bearings actually lock in and uh, I think there's about eight contact points inside here where it really uh, grabs that very well. So um, for a, you know, energy is supposedly a knockoff brand as they say, but um, it's actually one that everyone says has, has pretty good quality and everyone's been pretty happy with. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, mount the hub adapter or boss, whatever you want to call it. And this basically 
will slip on like this. We'll make sure the NRG logo is up. And you'll feel the splines engage. Then you'll take your lock nut and install. Then we'll want to go ahead and torque that down. Then the next step is basically removing all these uh, cap screws here. And earlier, as I said, I don't know what I'm doing with these because I've never done one before. I was completely wrong. This piece is not the piece that stays with the steering wheel. This is actually a piece that bolts on to the hub adapter. So once we get these out, then we will bolt this down. Next step is basically taking the piece here and using the supplied set screws to get it bolted up to the hub. Okay, and just tightening all these down here. And then I'll go ahead and take the uh, Allen wrench they supply and torque everything down. All right, then the last step is basically just uh, slipping the quick release on. And uh, if you had a steering wheel, which I don't yet, basically that steering wheel will just bolt right here. There's a lot of uh, different machined out threaded areas, so for different types of steering wheels. I think uh, NRG, Momo, and uh, I want to say Sparco wheels all fit this. Um, uh, this uh, bolt pattern here. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then for removal of your steering wheel, press the button, pull off. Um, you also can, I've seen guys do it, take this little set screw here and release that. And uh, that will allow you to remove the safety push button here. Um, you know, you can do that whenever you want. I'm going to leave it in for now. Uh, it is a nice little security feature. Uh, that way you can't accidentally pull it off without pushing this down, that button down first. But um, for now I'm going to leave it on. A lot of people are saying what a pain in the butt it is to, uh, to actually reach around the wheel, push that button, pull it off, uh, so they end up removing it. But for now I'm just going to keep that on as is. So thanks for watching. hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, I know it took uh, me a while to figure out what was going on with uh, these quick releases as I've never installed one before, but everything's pretty straightforward once you figure out what parts you need to get and uh, get it bolted on.